Hi Taurus, uh, this is your January monthly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my monthly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll get you an advice for the whole month of January. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in January. We have the Moon, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups, clarified by the Three of Wands. We have the Six of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Queen of Pentacles with the, the Ten of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And we also have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Pisces in particular, or pretty much any zodiac sign. This is a general reading. So the King of Cups is the person who is trying <laughs> to come into your life, right? The third card from the left. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or perhaps this person is mature, in control of their emotions. They could be somebody who has a problem expressing their emotions. And that's what uh, the Moon card to the left from the King of Cups could be all about. The Moon, by the way, is the personal Pisces card. This King of Cups could be a Pisces, then it makes perfect sense. But if we want to stay general, then the Moon is them having fears, fears of rejection, perhaps this person is very shy, they're not sure about how you feel about them or how you will feel about them. Basically, they're having um, trouble expressing their emotions, uh, you know, and just basically making you an offer. But I think they will finally uh, sort of collect themselves, have courage. Um, perhaps they'll practice in front of a mirror 105 times <laughs> and come and finally come towards you. So the moon is, is um, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, to me personally, is the most serious page out of all four pages. Yes, this is what usually happens in the early stages of pretty much any relationship or any connection. This is them reaching out to you. This is them, um, you know, asking you out at long last. Um, but uh, the Page of Pentacles, like I said, it always talks about long term. So that's what this person is seeking in their life. They're looking for somebody to, you know, have a family with. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But the Page of Pentacles is also something tangible, something you can touch. So this person will probably give you something, right? Um, so that King of Cups is clarified by the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of some of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision. So like I said, uh, it's going to take this person, you know, a, a hot, a quick second to um, come towards you for whatever reason. Now, it has nothing to do with you, Taurus, but it's just about their personality. It's about uh, how they were brought up or they're just very shy or they think that uh, you'll reject them. So here they come with the Six of Wands, uh, the card right next to the Three of Wands. The Six of Wands uh, is a card of a success. It's a card of victory. It's a card of uh, somebody, you know, feeling great about what they did. <laughs> so I think you will, um, your answer is going to be yes, let's go out. I think uh, they worry for nothing, right? The Six of Wands is a great card to have. So they're planning a victory with you. And uh, it, it will probably look a little quirky. Because you will know, you will see right through this person. You'll even know they're coming in with the Six of Wands energy. It's like somebody who is very sure of themselves, but... You will see right through them that this person is, uh, you know, a little bit shy or they are just, you know, have a hard time expressing themselves and it'll come off a little quirky, but I think it will put a huge smile on your face because you'll see this person is trying, this person is trying really hard uh, for you to like them, <laughs> right? And the potential outcome, we have the Queen of Pentacles with the uh, Ten of Cups and uh, the Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Pentacles, that is you, that is your personal card. I always like when uh, we have a king and a queen in the same spread. Even though you're not suited, that still means that two of you are mature individuals. You can compromise if you have to. And uh, you're vibing on similar levels, right? And uh, you're ready for a commitment or even marriage. And speaking of a commitment or marriage, the next card I came out is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is one of the commitment or marriage cards. It's actually one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships, marriages, it's a family card. So if having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have children together. But it's um, it's the happily ever after card, you know. So like I said, this person's got nothing really to worry about because I think you'll be on board. I think you're going to like this person. You're going to like them a lot. Um, and uh, the last card I came out is the Wheel of Fortune. 
right next to the deck. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. And uh, the cherry on top, uh, I guess, uh, is the Empress on the bottom of the deck. It's an amazing card to have, especially on the bottom of the deck. You know, because the Empress is abundance in its purest form. The Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck. In my spreads, the Empress usually shows up as a sign from above or a stamp of approval, so to speak, for a connection to move forward. And besides that, that's the way this person sees you, right? They are putting you up on a pedestal, so perhaps that's why they're a little shy. They, they think that um, you're out of their league. I keep thinking that this person will need like courage <laughs> to come towards you, right? And uh, the Empress uh, does not require an introduction. Everybody knows who the Empress is. The Empress often comes through as the future mother or the future wife or the future significant other figure. So yeah, like I said, if having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have a full family. Really like this spread. It feels very... Um, warm, it feels like there isn't really harsh energies here, it's just it flows, this connection will flow, once this person grows a pair <laughs> and that's probably a poor choice of words, but once that happens and they come towards you, it will flow, it, it, it feels like a natural flow you'll like this person, and uh, you'll like quite a few quirky things about them, really happy for you Taurus, congratulations Taurus, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Two of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Star. And uh, we also have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right, right? You could be dealing with an Aquarius. So speaking of an Aquarius, if your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend is an Aquarius, then it makes total sense because I think you're planning uh, like a surprise birthday party for them. The Star right next to the deck is the personal Aquarius card. But obviously, <laughs> not every single Taurus is in a relationship or married to an Aquarius. Then, um, it's kind of like you are thinking of some sort of a new beginning here with the two old ones, the first card that came out. And it's qualified by the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords is like a brand new beginning, and it's the type of a beginning that you have to have courage for every once in a while. So I think with the tail ones, you're either trying to decide if this is something you want to do, or perhaps you're thinking of two different options, two different choices, and uh, those two options or choices could be anything, right? But I don't really think it's going to be anything critical or anything negative. It's something good. Perhaps the two of you want to start uh, going to gym together, <laughs> or you want to travel together, start something brand new in the new year together, right? And with the tail ones, uh, this is you uh, sort of trying to decide if this is what you want to do or you're deciding between multiple options. So with the Ace of Swords, yeah, you're going to go for it. The Ace of Swords, like I said, is a brand new beginning. Then we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups could be, um, you know, it could be a union. You're uniting with other people. So if you're going to start hiking or if you're going to take a ballroom dancing class, it will obviously be a union with other people who already do that. <laughs> Right, and it's, it's a wish come true for at least one of you, <laughs> right? The star right next to the deck, this is not only an Aquarius card, but it's also a wish come true. Uh, but, um, like I said, it's at least a wish come true for at one of you, right? And uh, the other one was thinking about it. Um, but uh, the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, this is the Happily Ever After card, it's a family card. Uh, this is a card of... Uh, you know, very emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriage. So whatever this new beginning brings into your relationship or marriage, you know, it will only make it happier, it will only make it stronger. But uh, for very few of you, as I already said, this is a, 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 an Aquarius birthday that you're planning. You know, this Aquarius doesn't have to be your significant other. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, but perhaps the two of you, you and your significant other are planning it for that particular person. And uh, the Three of Cups in the middle, in that case, becomes a celebration. All right. So either way, it's a it's a great it's a great uh, spread. Whatever you guys are doing or about to start doing, you know, like I said, it will make your relationship or marriage even stronger. All right. Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Taurus, this month. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. Also, keep in mind, we'll have Venus 
in retrograde until the 29th. What that usually means is more excess than usual may resurface. So we have the Hierophant, we have the Two of Cups clarified by Judgment, we have uh, the Fool clarified by the Six of Cups, and we also have the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any Zodiac sign, or another Taurus, by the way. So as you see, as you can see, I clarified the Two of Cups with the Fool. I was hoping to see a court card, but <laughs> we got what we got and it's not too bad either. The first card that came out is the Hierophant, that is your personal card Taurus, unless you're dealing with another Taurus. Right? Or the Hierophant is about something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. The Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right is also a commitment or marriage card. So I'm just going to call it, this is a reconciliation, Taurus. There is no other way to interpret this. This is definitely a reconciliation. A very happy one. Right? And it's like, the two, when the two of you get together, it's like, you're not going to be, none of you is going to be holding a grudge. None of, it's just going to be water under the bridge. It's like the two of you will be really happy to get back together. It's like the past is in the past. Let's just start from scratch. But there is a lot of love here. This person is uh, at least your soulmate. Because the Two of Cups, the, the card right next to the Hierophant, is uh, one of the soulmate cards, right? And uh, the Six of Cups clarifying the Fool is also a soulmate card. But what that means is that there's so much love, there is still so much love here. Perhaps there is more love than before because now both of you realized what you lost, right? So this time apart um, finally uh, put everything in perspective for the two of you. That the two of you are definitely soulmates, the two of you definitely belong together. And that's what I see here. Um, that you're not even thinking twice, you're just going to go ahead with the full card, which the uh, Six of Cups is clarifying. The full is starting from scratch, the full is a card of a second chances in this case, and uh, the full is leaving all the crap behind that happened between the two of you the first time around. Judgment clarifying the Two of Cups, this is also a card of uh, somebody coming back from the past. Right, so you can always leave me a comment, let me know how this plays out for you, um, what, this, what the zodiac sign of this person is, but this is definitely a reconciliation. Alright? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances towards this uh, month. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Five of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles, and uh, we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So, uh, this will probably uh, resonate with very few of you, because uh, there's definitely um, an ending here, an abrupt ending, but um, an immediate new beginning. Some of you could be um, quitting your job and starting uh, a new job. And uh, others of you could be quitting your 9 to 5 and starting your own business. But if it is a new business you're starting, it will be in a collaboration with somebody else. Others of you, like I said, it's most likely a new job. And uh, if you're the one quitting this job, then they're not going to be very happy. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So the first card I came out is the Ten of Swords and it's clarified by the Five of Swords. Um, this is when, you know, something goes down the toilet. Something comes to an, an abrupt ending. Somebody who walks away and slams the door on the way out. Or if you give them a two-week notice, they're not going to be happy. Perhaps they expect you to be there. Perhaps they have um, plans for you, projects for you. So, yeah, there's going to be... You, you're <laughs> there will be a problem with you quitting this job there will be a problem. They're not going to like it, but I don't think you're going to care. Because if you're starting a new job, then it's going to be a much better job. If you're thinking of starting your own business, you'll make a lot of money. All right, then that's what you need to concentrate on. Whatever is best for you, Taurus, all right? So we have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles. Both cards are talking about work, business, and finances. Right, uh, the Three of Pentacles, it's a card of collaboration, it's a card of a workplace environment or business place environment, and the Eight of Pentacles, clarifying the Three of Pentacles, is also a work, business, and finances uh, card. We have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. The Two of Cups is my handshake card. Right, so if you're starting a new business, then it will most likely be together with another person or other people. Or, if you're starting a new job, that will probably involve a handshake and some paperwork being signed, right? And the King of Pentacles right next to the deck, that's you, Taurus. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So yeah, it, you, there's going to be this rough period um, when uh, you are get, get out of one work, 
get out of one job and start a new job, there's going to be, you know, it's going to be a conflict. But um, whatever you're starting new is going to make you a lot of money and it's going to be something that goes uh, a long way for you. All right? Cool. Here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Taurus, for the whole month of January. We have the Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands, we have the Six of Wands, and we also have the world on the bottom of the deck. It's a very general message here, but what it says is that uh, don't be afraid to end something and start something new. Don't be afraid of uh, difficulties, don't be afraid of obstacles, because you will come on top, you will be the winner at the end of the day. You will be successful, you will have your recognition, and if this is about uh, work business and finances, you'll make a lot of money. All right, so this whole spread is all about you overcoming some sort of a burden or just pushing forward, keep, you know, keep going, doing what you think is best for you, doing what you, what you think will benefit you. The world on the bottom of the deck, this is my happy end card. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and uh, another chapter of your life it begins, right? So you will have your happy ending, <laughs> basically, right? Um, the Seven of Pentacles, the first card I came out is clarified by the Seven of Cups, two sevens right there. Both of them are talking about, you know, looking at your options, thinking about something, waiting for something. Um, perhaps at this point, at some point in January, you will think about giving up. Don't give up, keep pushing, keep doing it. Whatever it is you think of doing or whatever you, it is what you've been doing, right? The Ten of Wands in the middle is a card of a burden, this is a card of a responsibility. So keep carrying it, keep pushing, keep doing, keep moving forward. And eventually, with the Six of Wands, the last card that came out right next to the deck, you will have your victory, recognition, success, and you, you will achieve whatever goals um, you think you, know, you put in front of yourself. <laughs> Alright, so it kind of feels like this, is, this will probably stretch out um, for more than just January, to be honest with you. I think since we all tend to start new things in January, right? New year resolutions, new jobs, new businesses, whatever we start in January, I think this spread right here uh, goes beyond January. So if you think about uh, quitting your job and starting your own business, go ahead and do it. <laughs> if, you're th if you're thinking about starting to you know, lose weight or go to gym, keep doing, keep pushing, keep lifting those weights or doing those cardio exercises or yoga or whatever. <laughs> Eventually you will have the results you you want. Alright, so yeah, that's what I got for you, uh, Taurus, for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Taurus, have an amazing January. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.